Let's go over how to find all eigenvalues of this 2x2 two two matrix. Here's a quick recap of the definition of an eigenvalue and an eigenvector. I'll leave a link in the description to the lesson where we introduce these things if you need a more thorough review. The eigenvalues, remember, are the values lambda, so that this system, ax equals lambda x, has non-trivial solutions for x. And in order to check that this system will have non-trivial solutions, we will need to take the matrix lambda i minus a and set its determinant equal to zero. If the determinant of this matrix is equal to zero, then this system is going to have non-trivial solutions. So we'll set this determinant equal to zero, then we'll solve for lambda. Those are the eigenvalues. Again, there's a link in the description to the lesson where we introduce this stuff for the first time, but let's jump into the process of actually doing it. So the key character is this guy here, lambda times the identity minus our matrix A. So first we'll calculate that, and then we'll calculate the determinant, and then we'll be able to find the eigenvalues. Lambda times the identity is this matrix here, and we are subtracting our given matrix A. That gets us here. The way this works is that the entries of A are just negated and a lambda is added along the main diagonal. So this is the matrix. Now we have to calculate its determinant, which is straightforward because it's a two by two matrix. We'll take this diagonal product and subtract that diagonal product. And here that is. The determinant we're looking for is the determinant of this matrix we just found. So lambda minus three times lambda minus four minus negative 2 times negative 1. And then we can do some expansion and simplification. This turns out to just be a quadratic in lambda. And once we fully simplify it, it's lambda squared minus 7 lambda plus 10. Then recall, we take this polynomial, called the characteristic polynomial, and set it equal to 0. Because any lambda satisfying this equation is going to result in this system, ax equals lambda x having non-trivial x solutions. Thus, any lambda value satisfying this equation is an eigenvalue. So all we have to do is factor this to solve for lambda. That's pretty straightforward. We don't even need the quadratic formula here. So we end up using the zero product property with lambda one equals five and lambda two equals two. Those are the two eigenvalues of the matrix A. And that's how to find the eigenvalues of a two by two matrix. Find the matrix lambda I minus A calculate the determinant, and then set it equal to zero and solve for lambda. The solutions are the eigenvalues. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus, I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest, happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant, call me the Morgan. I get the compliments, the union in together like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need